Hey, I'm Adam Thompson. There's a simple step you can put into place that's going to increase that communication that people are looking for, and at the same time, it's going to increase the buy-in to what the bigger plans are, it's going to increase accountability or ownership, and it's going to increase the level of agility your organisation has. Let's get right into it. Now you're looking to go from something that looks like this, you get the idea, got the usual hierarchy, and you want it to be something that works more like this where what we've got is we've got our various teams working together. And of course we want these teams to be doing a bit of this one, creating what's called some sort of networked organization. If you're like most organizations, your team meetings are pretty much gonna be working like this. That crew gets together like that. And then you're gonna have something like this crew gets together. It's the standard team meeting where manager gets together with a group of direct reports. Here's the simple change I'm suggesting that you do. Invite everyone. That's it. Invite everyone. So now we're talking about it looking like this. That's the change. Inviting everyone means you are meeting like you are already a networked organisation. Now, I know the reasons you don't want to do this. Okay, reason number one is that it's inefficient. It's gonna take longer to do the meetings because there's more people involved. There's gonna be lots of different opinions. Yes, it is inefficient, but it's only inefficient in the short term because in the long term, the ability to have everyone to hear the same information at the same time means the inefficiency goes away as the larger group can move as a whole. So yes, inefficient in the short term, but in the long term, a lot more efficient, which is known as being more integrated. I go television in the morning. Now your next reason to not want to do it this way is also fair enough, and that is going to be sensitive info. Remember what information's for. Information is to give people a context that they need to do their job. So there's an interesting idea that we think the job is to control information, whereas a job can actually be to make sure information gets out. So what do we do about sensitive info? We can see it as worth the risk. Yes, there's a chance that sensitive info will get out. Weigh it up against the benefits you can get from everyone in the system being able to have the same context at the same time. And a third problem, which we can all understand, is annoying people. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Now get out of here. No, no, Mr. Stan! When you invite more people into a room, if there's a certain percentage of them who are annoying, then the number of annoying people in the room is going to increase. But for that, what I suggest is that we earn our management dollars. In other words, for the people who are annoying, address that after the meeting. In case you think this is just my own personal flight of fancy, General Stanley McChrystal was in charge of the Joint Task Force fighting Al-Qaeda in Iraq. One of the key practices that was adopted was the daily operations and intelligence meeting designed to allow everyone to tune in so that intelligence and intelligence about operations and about what was coming up next got shared through the whole network. I just want to tell you the magnitude of this. It was a daily meeting every day, 4 p.m. Iraq time, 9 a.m. Washington time. How many people do you think tuned into that meeting? Just take a guess, what number? 7,000, 7,000 people tuned in every day. So if we're worried about inefficient, if we're worried about sensitive information, and if you can think that the US military is able to actually include 7,000 people because the ability to have what McChrystal called systemic knowledge was easily outweighing the risk of sensitive information being there. If that's gonna work for General Stanley McChrystal, then I think that can work for your organization when all we're talking about is perhaps inviting just one extra layer into your weekly meeting. Give it a go, think about what you've got to lose, the answer is not much. Think about what you've got to gain, the answer is lots. That's all for now, thank you for watching. If you like, you can find me on the usual socials and you can sign up to my blog, which is Zen Organisations. That way you get not just this video, but you get an article that goes along with it into your inbox every week. And you can always get in touch and talk to me about how you can apply these ideas into your organisation. See you next time.